This has been a very successful expedition. And in fact, uh, we have been spending much more time in the water than we are spending out of the water. So we are currently in Papahanaumokuokea Marine National Monument, and we've just traveled from the Mid-Pacific Mountains along Necker Ridge and up into the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands. We are looking at the corals and sponges and other fauna in the area to try to compare if the same species can be found uh, throughout these areas. We are paying attention to Necker Ridge because we would like to answer the question as to whether or not it is a bridge or a barrier to uh, recruitment uh, and the movement of deep sea corals. The distribution of different communities is important for several different reasons. Management of the different habitats, understanding where vulnerable species live and how to protect them, understanding impacts of resource extraction, and then how those different communities respond and react and recover. Right off the bat, there's uh, the potential to at least say, all right, this is what a protected area looks like, this is what a non-protected area looks like, and then that will help um, both the management of the areas that are protected as well as provide some baselines for the unprotected areas should any other kinds of activities occur there. We've been exploring these seamounts with ROV Sebastian to look at the animals and get high quality video data and then also to do um, samples for both genetic connectivity work as well as um, aging work for stable isotopes. We are expecting the DNA to tell us how, what level of connectivity we're seeing between the organisms. We've also been doing seafloor mapping, as well as CTDs and ADCPs that measure current and direction. The water samples are pretty much used to kind of complement the deep sea coral data that we get. So if we get a certain like nutrient value within the coral, we also use the water data specifically within those depths to kind of correspond and like validate those values. It's looking like larvae distribution along Necker Ridge is difficult, which may suggest it's a potential barrier. But we do see some indications that larvae distribution is possible. What we are seeing um, could lead to better management outside of the Marine National Monument because if there is not the level of connectivity that could be expected from a no barrier idea, then we need to work on management, not expecting the monument to act as our um, treasure trove of genetic material. We have a lot of lab work to do. <laughs> we have a lot of uh, video footage uh, to review. We have a lot of genetic samples to start processing. We have a lot of paleoceanographic uh, specimens to deal with, and we have a lot of water uh, measurements uh, or water samples to be working on. And so we'll start delving into uh, all of that work um, after a few weeks of rest once we're back on shore. <laughs>